Hey everybody. Um, so yesterday you had a chance to study this piece of propaganda um, called the Bostonians paying the men or tarring and feathering created by a man named Philip Daw in London in 1774. So I wanted to just talk a little bit more about what's going on um, since you had a chance to study it for yourselves, but there might be more things more symbols in here that you didn't even really recognize. So I just wanted to give you some background on this uh, piece of propaganda and explain some things that you might be seeing. So um, this is an engraving um, and it depicts the tarring and feathering of a man named John Malcolm, who was the commissioner of customs. And the people that you can see here that are tarring and feathering this man are funds of liberty. And the engraving was actually published by a British newspaper. So you can imagine that um, this is obviously showing that the colonists are the ones that are being violent. Um, so the image had multiple meanings for people living at the time. Um, British people read it as a larger message, but they also looked at some specific symbols that are within the image itself. and. The symbols and phrases that are in this piece of propaganda connected to ideas and events that took place during the protests that led up to this particular moment. So just to give you some background on what actually is going on here, um, the story behind the cartoon is that John Malcolm, so that's the man here who's getting tarred and feathered, he was arguing with a Bostonian man named George Hughes over the way that Malcolm was treating a boy in the street. So George Hughes didn't really like the way that John Malcolm, who was the commissioner of customs, he was a tax collector essentially, was treating this young man. So Malcolm um, decided to strike Hughes with his cane and fled the scene. So word of this attack spread in Boston and Bostonians, obviously you can imagine they would be very angry at this, um, particularly maybe the Sons of Liberty, um, and they met at Malcolm's home and they eventually dragged him outside and he was thrown into a cart and he was driven through the city streets and the crowd had Malcolm covered first with tar and then feathers, giving him this quote unquote modern jacket. Um, and as you watched in the video, you would know that this was extremely, extremely painful. Um, the parade continued through the city, stopping periodically to demand Malcolm renounce British authority, which he refused to do. Um, and the mob also drove past the Liberty Tree, where they actually threatened to hang Malcolm. They put a rope around his neck. They tied him to the gallows and beat him with clubs. Malcolm severely eventually driven back to his home and he was rolled off of the cart. So obviously he wasn't killed. Um, but they, they threatened him. So there are a lot of symbols in here. I just wanted to go through some of those with you. Um, first of all, you might have noticed that take a look at their faces, the Bostonians, right? So they have these menacing faces, and you can see they're pretty violently pouring tea, actually, down Malcolm's throat here. Um, so remember, this was in response to the Stamp Act. Um, and to the Tea Act being passed. So that kind of makes sense symbolically. Um, also, there are some items that are from this whole day of events that are kind of compressed into this one particular picture here in this one scene. So the first one obviously is the, um, tar, the tarring and the feathering, which was a painful and very dangerous practice, which is when somebody was covered in hot tar and then rolled in feathers. And basically the idea of this was to subject them to public ridicule. Um, also, you can see here, there's a club. So remember how I said earlier that Malcolm was beaten with clubs. Um, there's also a noose here hanging off of the Liberty tree. So <clears throat> the idea of this is, well, let me give you some background first on the Liberty tree. Um, so the Liberty tree was actually a real tree during this period of time, it was a very large elm tree, and it was in the Boston Commons, which was like a big area in the middle of um, downtown Boston. And it was a symbol of revolution for the Patriots um, and for the Sons of Liberty. And 
it served as a place to demonstrate in particular these commons it served they served as a place to demonstrate when they were dissatisfied with british rule so that would be a place where people would protest a lot so the tree itself became this symbol of objection to great britain and their policies and their acts and actually great britain so the british chopped down the tree in 1775 <clears throat> um, but also as you see here there's this noose um, so that was either, it could have meant like a, just a general threat, or it could have just been representing, um, how I was saying that the, uh, Sons of Liberty, they threatened to, um, hang him from the tree. Also, it could be referencing a specific event where, um, the Sons of Liberty hung a dummy. So obviously like a fake person, you know, a fake person, um, from the tree. Uh, this, it was an actual event that happened. Um, some other things that you could see here in the background, you see what's really supposed to be the Boston Tea Party, even though that actually happened a month earlier. Um, but the reason why that's there is it's just symbolizing that rebellious nature and the rebellion of the colonists. <clears throat> and let's see, what else do we have here? Ah, here, this is a really important one, the Stamp Act. So the Stamp Act, you can see it's depicted upside down, posted on the Liberty Tree, which is just serving as a reminder of those Stamp Act protests that happened previously. Um, and just go over this to see if there's anything else that I'm missing. And also, when typically, if something's hung upside down, it means rebellion. So those are some of the major symbols that you might have noticed um, in this particular piece of propaganda. All right. And also, I'm posting, um, if you're interested to learn what an etching is and how an etching is made, I am posting an article about that. So feel free to take a look at that too. All right. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend.